Latest from the Northwest, ENCA reporter Zikona Chona is there. And Zikona, there was a protest where you are um, earlier on this morning. What were the reasons for that protest? As far as we understand, Tulas Nahau, as well as uh, other federation unions linked to the health uh, department in terms of nursing alliances have been protesting in the northwest for about two weeks now they're saying that the province simply province provincial leadership rather simply refuses to adhere to their grievances they're calling for a 12 percent salary increase for one but the, the province is only offering them a five percent increase they're also saying just the health conditions in the province are deteriorating and they've basically diminished diminished they're saying that the 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 the, the facilities behind me, which is the Potterstrom Hospital, really there are no adequate services there to, to look after the patients. Now, when we arrived here this morning, we arrived to patients that, or, or rather um, families of patients that are outside that had bought food for their loved ones that are take, being, being taken care of inside the hospital. They think that they heard that there was a protest and that they came here to feed their loved ones. Also, uh, Tulas, we also spoke to patients that were leaving the hospital, that had come to the hospital to get medical attention, and they were simply turned away and told that there would be no one to, to take care of them. We do know that the nursing staff from the hospital, majority of them, are participating in this protest. So really, the health services in this hospital and other hospitals in this province, we know that Krugerstorp Hospital has also been affected, as well as Mafikeng Hospital has also been affected by the protest. So really, um, family members really concerned about the, the quality of the service that the patients are receiving inside the hospital. Any words, Zikona, before I let you go, any word from the health department? We know that that particular province's health department has been placed under what's called Section 100 administration. But is, is anyone saying anything about um, efforts to try and uh, restore normalcy to the health care sector in, in, uh, in that province? As it stands for now, we know that the MEC of Health in the province did meet with the protesting workers, but they have really not been satisfied with what they heard. Um, she's basically saying that she wants to engage with them on the way forward so that to stop the protest from going on any way further. But the, 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 the protesting workers to us are saying that they know that health is an essential service in the country and they really should not be protesting but they're saying this is a last resort they are working in poor conditions they don't have equipment in the hospitals so this is really their last call from the provincial government to t start looking after and prioritizing the health services in the province not much has come from the health department in the province to last i've tried to get hold of of the spokesperson in that department but he's merely told me that the, the mec has has met with the protesting workers and they have decided on the way forward. But for now, the protest will continue on Monday. We know that the, the protesting workers are, are threatening to shut down this hospital. So far, it's been the, the best operating out of all the hospitals that have been affected by the protest. We know that patients have at least been able to enter the hospital, even though they've been turned away. But in other hospitals, like Magnificang, as well as Krugerstorp, Patients have simply not been able to enter the facilities. But we'll be back here on Monday to watch um, the process and see as to how badly patients are indeed affected by the protests of the nursing staff. All right, thank you so much for that update. That's ENCA's uh, Zikona Chona uh, giving us an update on the situation in as far as the healthcare sector is concerned in the Northwest, a key uh, thread of that particular story.